Welcome back to No Talent Gaming Place Chrono Trigger, guys. Um, I'm gonna forego the voices for, for part of this. Naomi, see that giant map of this area? You can feel free to explore it and talk to these people. However, don't enter the three doors at the top, okay? Talk to these people, find out what's going on. I'm gonna talk to these guys for a minute. Um, here's the thing. People have basically said that the Nintendo Switch, um, they've seen it in action, and every game except for Breath of the Wild currently runs at a solid 60 frames per second. And that's hard. Like, even during the most intense parts of it, 60 frames per second, okay? And they are going to optimize it. They've said they're going to optimize Breath of the Wild to hit 60 FPS. Now, here's the thing. Most other console developers, we're talking Microsoft and Sony here, they will tank their frames per second in order to increase the fidelity on their games. So we're talking like 30 FPS, 20 FPS, sometimes 15 FPS, just to make the games look really, really good. And the problem with that is that PCs can already run the, the ga those games looking just as good at a solid 30. Not always a solid 60, but a solid 30. Only the best computers right now can do a solid 60 consistently. So I feel like in terms of hardware, Nintendo is actually aiming to occupy a different niche than Sony or Microsoft. Because right now, the PS4 and the Xbox One is trying to com compete with PCs with vastly inferior hardware of the current PCs. So you're getting to a point where like they're like, well, fuck, on, on a GTX 1080 Ti system, this game looks amazing. Let's, let's try and force it to look amazing on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One the exact same amount. And one, they fall short. And two, the game runs at 15 frames per second and it fucking sucks. Nintendo's like, how about we just make games look stylized, still look good, but not photorealistic, and make every experience a solid 60 frames per second. That is a different hardware niche that consoles don't currently occupy at this point, and even some PCs don't currently occupy. So that might position the Nintendo Switch in a very good position hardware-wise. Um, if game developers aren't willing to take advantage of that shit, um, that's going to be a serious problem for Nintendo because they did not take advantage of that with, with the Wii U. However, I feel like if Nintendo plays their cards right, the Switch will be a success because it can occupy that, that graphical niche that most PlayStation and Xbox developers are actively ignoring right now, which is the 60 FPS niche. So that's, and, and here's the thing, it's, it's stupid to compare consoles to PCs. It, it used to make sense because PCs were hard to program for and consoles were consistent hardware so you could program for a standard. That's not the case anymore. The one big argument for consoles, which was that argument, is now gone. So really, if, there need, if there's going to be a, a, a reason for a console's existence right now, it has to offer something that most PCs can't give you. That's going to be either in control scheme, in arbitrary game releases that are, that are only on one console, or with frame rate, because the best PCs can't do 60 FPS, and PS4 and Xbox One are ignoring 60 FPS. So if Nintendo gets in on the, on the 60 FPS bandwagon early, I think it will be a success. And it is, and honestly, looking at it from that point of view, the fact that it is a tablet that is on par with the PS4 and the, and the Xbox One graphically um, makes it worth that price point. Because it's that's what I mean. Like it's a portable system. It's a tablet with the power of a PS4 and the power of an Xbox One. That's that's an engineering feat in a, in and of itself. If you never, if you never, you know, leave the, your house, then why would you buy a Switch? But if you do, it makes complete sense. I, no, no, I said, I didn't say the best PCs can't do it 60 FPS. I said the best PCs can do 60 FPS, but only the best of the best PCs can do 60 FPS on ultra settings, on maximum settings. Most PCs can't do that. Most PCs can do 30 FPS on max settings. And that's where Nintendo kind of needs to go with their shit, because 60 FPS is still a largely unexplored area of gaming for most people. You know what I mean? Do you agree? I was not listening to anything you were saying. I love you, but I no, That's fine. What, what did you think about all these guys? Um, interesting. What did you, you get from it? I didn't, I wasn't. Oh. Shala! You can do her voice, I guess. 
Janice, you've returned to something wrong. The black winds! You'll feel the foreboding too. Don't worry, it'll be alright. Here, keep this close. What is it? Is it a porno? Totally. It's an amulet containing my prayers. If something should happen, it will keep you safe. If I open the, the amulet, is there a porn picture inside? Ow. <laughs> I wish that I could remain with you always, but Mother has other plans. That's not our mother. She looks like her, but she's not the same inside. Mm -hmm. oh, even still, forgive me, Janice. Pardons, Your Highness. Oh, it's a girl. Pardons, Your Highness. The Queen requests your immediate presence at the Ocean Palace. Very well. Well then, Janice, I must be on my way. Oh, who may you be? Forgive me, my lady, but we must hurry. If we're late, I fear I'll be, well, you know, the Queen. Of course, my apologies. This is one of the nicest songs in the game, too. Go we. Go, Go we. away. Go we. Wait, wait, wait. Just stay here for a minute. What do you think of this song? I like it. Yeah? yeah? You should hear the orchestral version from, like, the actual soundtrack. Probably sounds amazing. It's fucking good, dude. I think her love is based on not listening to Dev. <laughs> Lady Shallow's pendant was made from the same redstone as the Memon machine. When she prays to the device, the pendant glows with an unearthly light. Remember redstones? Used to build the mass immune? Had to go back in town to find it from the... Yeah. Okay. Just, just reminding you. Things are coming together now. Oh, what did you glean from this area? When you were talking to them? Well, Lavos has something to do with them. Um, with who? With those two? No, um... The entirety in general. Oh, the entire kingdom? Yes. Um... The pendant we have looks a lot like Lady Shallows, except it doesn't glow. Um, the Queen has probably been mind controlled by somebody. All the gurus are gone. They're building an ocean palace and a, some kind of insane machine. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Oh wait, not this one yet. Go back. Go to the other one first. Fine. Hey, hey, new, wake up. Scratch his back. He's like, oh fuck. This way leads to the mana machine. That's you. The perfect armor is clouded with hatred and sorrow. If he does not free himself of those emotions, I'm sorry, guys. Beyond lies the mana machine chamber. You can feel the glorious energy of lava surging from it. Oh, <laughs> my god! To my I don't know if you should go in this one yet or the other one. It's up to I, you. You can go in. Yeah, go in. It's fine. All right, let's go. I was trying to think of like what, what happens here. Oh no, it's fine. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's. Do you recognize the memo machine? No. It's that symbol on the walls and the bed sheets and the tables and all the old boxes and the doors and everything. Oh, Almighty Queen, our kingdom will reign for all eternity! You know the only thing I've noticed? What? A lot of the statues look like fiends. Wait, that's actually a, what you mean, like, like yeah, yeah, from the, from the Middle Ages? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll see why, too. They're, everything's connected. <laughs> Everything in this game's connected. This is the font of Zeal's power, the Mammoth Machine. It draws and magnifies the limitless power of Lavos. Fuck yeah. There you go. Operating the mana machine requires the magic powerful enough to regulate the energy the machine extracts. <laughs> Accepting the gurus, Lady Shala is the only one with such power. Have you met any gurus yet? No, oh, they're all gone, right? Yeah, they're gone. Okay. The three gurus constructed the mana machine from a registered stone that had been kept in the royal treasury for generations. The guru of life, Melchior, was in charge of the plans. Recognize the name? Do you know who it is? Yeah. Constructed a great leader of research on the nature of Lavos, but now well, I'm sure you know the rest. No, we don't! Okay, Melchior, do you know who that is? 
Who is it? Melchior! It's Melchior! Yes, but do you remember who he is? Yes, because I had to correct you so many times. Melchior, <laughs> the guru of life, oh, opposed, the same dude. opposed the queen's plans and disappeared shortly thereafter. Wait, he disappeared? Yeah. It pains me to consider some to consider some conspiracy maybe at work, but it's terribly suspicious. Yeah, all three of the gurus disappeared at the same time because obviously they're all Melchior, and um, he was trying to create a time egg. So he created the time egg, disappeared in the fucking Middle Ages. Shit. Wait, Melchior wasn't living in the Middle Ages. Oh, well, wherever he, he, the he was living. Left. He was. No, remember we found him in the in the, in the old house by Hecran's cave in the in the in the present. Oh, was it the present? Oh, I always get those. Yeah, remember. The mass immune had his name on it in the Middle Ages. Yes. If he was he was in the present. Yes. So obviously he's he's a time traveler. Yes. When the nano machine was finished, the queen became a different person almost overnight, a much colder one. Just between us, I heard that any who opposed her Majesty, and not just the Earthbound ones, vanished and never heard from again. Well, cool. Our queen is now a tie yeah, Randall ruler. Everyone's like, this is where it happens, isn't it? Yeah, this is where things start really going to shit in the game. Everything starts going badly at this point. Oh, we're at twenty minutes though, so. Um, on the, okay, so wait here. On the next episode, we're actually going to go down um, the main hall into the... We're going to go down the rabbit hole! Into the Queen's Chamber. Rabbit hole is better. Want to get? Want to go inside Queen Zeal's Chamber? I heard, I heard it's like moist in there. Oh, so moist. Oh my she's, god. She's had two children. It's probably loose as fuck. Goodbye! Yeah. Shit, guys. Uh, I just realized that we weren't... Recording. recording. Yeah, so, so why I'll need, don't I'll you need, just press record? I'll need to pull that off of uh, off of Twitch's archive mm -hmm. because I have no YouTube version of that of that episode. God fucking damn it.